uh, a position to, uh, to say anything. I mean, we're still, you know, 24, 25 away to even catching it. So, you know, it's a long season. But your night is over. We thank you for taking the last minutes uh, here to join us, Ken. No problem. See you later. Good enough. <laughs> Ken Griffey Jr. Bob, back to you. Ken, a mellow man. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Walt Weiss to lead it off, bottom of the sixth. Against Tampa Bay is Rolando Orojo. Technically a major league rookie, but he'll be 30 in less than two weeks. And for a decade, he was a member of that terrific Cuban national team. Weiss lifts one into center field. Darren Erstad, who's moved from left to center, makes the catch. So Orojo on the mound is about as experienced as a rookie can be, and he's 10 and 5 for an expansion team. Changes everywhere. Brocious of the Yankees at third base, O'Neill of the Yankees in left field, Palmero of the Orioles in at first base, Erstad from left to center, Manny Ramirez of the Indians in right field. If you're scoring at home, stop. <laughs> Fernando Vina now to pinch in. From the Brewers, who were once in the American League and now find themselves in the National. Slashed foul. One and two. Most people still remember Fernando Vina for being the guy that Albert Bell ran over at second base a couple of years ago, and he was suspended for it. He's a very fine second baseman. One two pitch line toward the gap in left center field in there for a hit O'Neill cuts it off wide turn for Vina and a one out single. Greg Biggio is going to play a long time tonight he comes up for his fourth at bat. Actually, officially, it'll be his third since he was hit by a pitch, along with two strikeouts so far. Last year, this time, everyone was hyping him for the most viral player award. I think it's going to be very difficult for a middle infielder that doesn't hit a lot of home runs to win that award in the future because these outfielders and first basemen have put up such huge numbers that they're going to be overshadowed. The guy on the mound, Rolando Arojo, defected from Cuba two years ago as of Thursday of this week. It was only a short while ago that his mother his brother and his sister in law along with some other relatives arrived in the Florida Keys on a raft and Arojo immediately brought them to Tampa Bay. At the major league level I guess with the possible exception of hockey where you have so many Europeans and Russians Canadians and Americans as well. There really is no sport that is as international as baseball is now. And Biggio strikes out for the third time tonight which is very atypical for him. As of last year there were more Hispanic players in the majors than African American players. More and more Asians coming in even the occasional Australian international scouting becoming so important. And it makes the diverse backgrounds of the players extremely interesting. I mean, the circumstances that this guy comes out of are so much different than most of the people he shares that clubhouse with. Here's Devon White. A liner to center and White is two for two. He had tripled earlier. Devon White is having an excellent season for the Diamondbacks. And the roar is for Andres the Big Cat. Still immensely popular here as you can see and has had some amazing achievements that 
basically at least on a national level have been overshadowed the last few years in 1973 he won the batting title at 370 for the Rockies last man in the National League other than Tony Gwynn to do it and two years ago he knocked home 150. This ball is well hit the center Erstad going back not quite to the track now backs up to the wall as it continues to carry before he puts it away. They leave a couple and we're back after these words from your local station.